Hey guys, this is Mike Blackburn with Add-ons. I wanted to pop in here today and show you guys the basics of a price adjustment uh, for a vehicle category. Specifically, we're gonna build one uh, that will handle dynamic pricing for the amount of vehicles left in a category. That way you can uptick um, with uh, a percentage adjustment for the amount of vehicles left. Um, Right now, we're going to go into lead quote. We're going to head over to rate management. Next, we're going to build a selection factor. Selection factors are used to drive a price adjustment, and you can really build anything you can imagine for a selection factor. So I'm going to build a selection factor right here that's going to be uh, less than four. And so we're going to build less than four vehicles left in a category. So down here are all of our values. Um, I'm looking for number of vehicles left. Sorry, bear with me just a moment. Vehicles remaining in category. So I'm going to mark this as less than four. So we're going to create that selection factor right here. I'm going to add a new one. It says less than three. And so we're going to do vehicles remaining in category is less than three. So we're going to drive this less than three and less than four into additional price adjustments. We can do less than two. That way your last one, you're gonna mark up a whole lot and you can adjust them however you like. All right, so now that we've built our three different selection factors, we're gonna go back to lead quote. And I'm gonna to go to rate management and then over to vehicle categories. Now, if we take our sedan here, for example, we're gonna go into a price adjustment. Now, on the sedan, we're gonna add a new price adjustment, and this is gonna be the ones that I just added. So we're gonna find them way at the bottom here. We're gonna say less than four left, and we're gonna add and subtract either a percentage or a dollar amount. If you want to do a dollar amount, it's fixed. If you add a percentage, it's obviously a percentage. So I'm just going to start out. We're going to do add 50 bucks to the trip total if there's less if there's less than 4 left. Now if there's less than 3 left, let's add another 50 bucks. That way the first one is going to get hit with a $50 increase. And when you're down to two, they're going to get a $100 increase because it's going to add this 50 to this 50 right there. Now, if you want to do your last one left in a category, let's go and get an extra, what, 200 bucks total. So it's going to say we're going to add 50, then another 50, then $100. So that's going to be it. $200 to our trip total for our very last one. For two left in the category, it's gonna be 100. For three left, it's gonna be 50. So that is how we build a dynamic price adjustment based on the number of vehicles left in the category. Now, in order to implement this price adjustment, we need to make sure that you don't have allow oversell on. So your fulfillment, we will check anything that's authorized to service if you have that set or anything that's belonging to the category if you have that set. That way we have inventory awareness as to what's booked and what's left. So from there, we can always go to our SUV. Once you get all your pricing adjustments set up, you can always come in here and say, I'm gonna copy it from my sedan. And then if you copy those price adjustments, they'll just come right over to the sedan, I mean, to the SUV from the sedan, 
and then you can erase any ones that are not applicable or are already duplicated. So you see now I have lesson four, lesson three, and lesson two. So you can use those selection factors, not just what I built, but you can use a selection factor. So if it's Wednesday, or if it's April, or whatever, you know, let's just add, subtract, fixed, or percentage, and then you can adjust that to, trip total is usually what I go with, but you can change that to whatever you want. If you have any problems, questions, anything at all, please don't hesitate to call us 703-794-6100 or you can email us at support at artistmode.com. Thank you for your time today. Good luck.